Okay, we're here in Fort Fairham, and right behind this wheelie bin is a door to a garage. This looks like a normal garage door, but inside here, something a bit special. Cool. Yeah, something very special. Oh yes, what do we have here? Tucked away, hidden, Hmm. Oh yeah, we have something quite interesting. It's a nuclear bunker. Oh yes, it is a nuclear bunker and that there is the filter, air filter. So, what do you know? Got microwaves, these air, air breathers. That green door. Wow. I wonder if these still work. Nope. <laughs> There's the um, the air vents. Similar to that guy's house. Positive pressure. These these drop out of the way to kind of let the air pressure come out. So hmm. Interesting. Old microwave oven. And the uh, ventilation. But what is this? What do we have? Is there going to be more magic behind this? Oh my god. Yes, indeedy. Oh my god. I can't, I can't believe this. Wow. No way. Hang on. Just got to check I'm recording on my head, head cam. Am I recording? Are you recording, baby? Yeah, I am. All right. So what do we have up here first? You're us now. I'm as you see me now. Lord, what's my name? Are you not? Oh, he's not tonight. Right, what do we have here then? Ooh, breathers. Ooh, looks like more rooms. No way. Are you kidding me? What are these? Are, they, are these people's um, lockups? Are these the lockups belonging to people who are renting them? Because they look like rooms back there. It's pretty crazy. Wow, look at this. Oh yes, we have air, air filtration stuff. We got winder handles, look. Winder handles. Here we go. Whoa, that is stiff. That is screwed. That's totally seized up. So yeah, winder handles and uh, these air filters. You know, so filtration. Look at the big old bloody blast doors on that. Whoa, here's offices. Look. Oh my God, this is a this is a gold mine. This is a gold mine. Wow. Wow. Now that obviously just goes to outdoors, but where outdoors, I have no idea. These are, these are absolutely solid. You'd have to hammer those through. And look, there's another another walkway. Let's do the walkways first. The old uh, electrics. So I was told that this was a control center. So this is a district control. Now this is a piece of history and I would like to see this preserved as a as a museum piece really this is stunning wow oh it doesn't go anywhere so it's just air filtration and power cables look power cables come along here so well, I never thought I'd be seeing this today 
It's a lot bigger than I was expecting. Yeah, look at the old. Uh, mm. So a lot of stuff has been stripped out here. What's the what's the sort of stuff? So that looks like an alarm. Some sort of alarm. Wall heater tubes. Wall heaters. And pot, these are probably maps, I expect, or were maps. Boards off the walls. Well, let's get in there and have a look. So this was a sealed door, probably so they could keep the air in. Positive pressure. So yeah, rubber seals, you know, so it's a modern door, but they have rubber seals on them. Wow, look at this. So this is where nuclear war would be discussed by the people who are supposed to control this area. Wow. So, a few rooms. Let's have a look and duck down here. Get through. Yeah, it's just more and more rooms. Air, air breather holes. Yeah. These uh, big old rings in the roof. Amazing. An old soft seat down there. Duck down again to get in here. Bit another big room. So, now this is just one end. I mean, we, we haven't even gone up that other corridor, so there might be some more stuff. You see how the air would be pumped in here and would make its way out through all of these holes. So it's being pumped in from that side and blown out through that side. So yeah, it's instilled a very good nick. And I don't, no doubt this wouldn't be here if it weren't for the fact that it's so heavily uh, protected as a fort. Wow, look, these are radio connectors. Yep, this is what they know as um, PL259 connectors, PL259s. Screw them in. They work up to HF frequencies, high frequencies. So you'd go up to about 200 megahertz. Anything higher, you need uh, different connectors. Here we go. So they've got switches. And these could have been for like volume controls for a sounder or something maybe. Yeah. Well, that's where they would have got their signals in and out of the bunker. So, I don't know what, it's an old chair. Wow, look at that for a view. A bunker view. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we got some growth coming in over here. Look, life is trying to uh, establish a hold, a stronghold. Hmm. Wonder if there would have been a blanking plate over, over that. Looking at those rings in the ceiling again. Yeah. So this this was in use when they were when they had fluorescent bulbs like that. So I mean you could be talking nineties. This would have been still serviceable if they had bulbs like that. So may have still been in use of nineties. What the hell is this? Solid piece of metal. Up. What the hell is that off? Looks like something from a. I think poles would have gone down through here, so it's something off railings. Railings from outside, probably. And there's that uh, sealed door that would come out to the air equipment. So, 
And we couldn't get this one on the right working, but I wonder if we can get the one on the left. Oops. No. Nope. No, nope, it's absolutely sealed shut. Now we've got the the vent thing there and there's the positive pressure gauge. So, hmm. Now there's a lot of uh there's a lot of things here which could be to kind of regulate regulate how much air goes through which bit, so you can kind of open and close permanent uh, vents. And then you've got the master vents there, but there's trimmers to kind of like equalize what sort of pressures you want going around. And then obviously this must be an important place because they've got dual redundant. So if one breaks, you've got another one and you've got handles on both of them. But these were obviously powered so somewhere in here, there would have been a generator, but I'm not seeing any evidence of it here. So that's maybe what's down that other corridor to keep the fire risk away from everything here. But uh, yeah, we'll have to go outside and see if we can see these big doors from the outside. Because I think that's where they must have come from. Yeah. That's the air filter in, so there'll be two filter points on the outside. We'll be expecting to see there and there. Right. Now, what was on this? What was on that? Nothing. Oh, it might have. That's come out of the door. Look, that's the top half of this door. It's been kicked through. That's what that is. So, yeah, big archway rooms. Look at this, look at the height of this. That's, that is immense. Look at the height, this corridor. I'm loving this. It's just mud, it's just mud floor. Well, possibly a few stones, but kind of just muddy. So these are the uh, air escapes out of that room. Yeah. Here's the steps back down into the other section. So fingers crossed there's something else going on in here now. We shall have to see. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. Wow. Oh my God, this goes off. This, this is big. This is big. Oh look, telephone sockets. And it says TSX50 007. <laughs> Isn't that funny, 007. Yeah, and look, uh, joiner, joiner connectors for telephone extensions. So yeah, this air system goes off now. This could have been for water, it could have been for fuel. So it could have been water supplies or fuel supplies, but here we go. And it's up on these concrete plinths, so you get a bit of positive head pressure. So it will flow downhill. Oh wow, here we go again. Another, another room. This one, you can't get in, so. I just have to look through here. There we go. We just have to kind of product hello. Savat Savati Product Hello. Is this not openable then? It's weird. It's like it must be locked, deadlocked. And yeah, you can't uh, you can't uh, open that. It's very moist in there as well. Something's obviously broken through. What is this, like sandpaper? No, it's metal. That's metal on there. Somebody must have uh, had a hell of a job breaking that. Wow. Now, 
Looks like some stuff may have been in here. It's been taken away. And I can hear birds down at the end. More of these air filter things. Uh, spares. Spares for in here. Oh, look, more air filters. And this, this is weird. A box at the bottom. What's that for then? Burning, burning, heating, heating, wow, there's a hole here, look, there's a hole to the outdoors, hmm, yeah, everything's very, uh, rusted, apart from these galvanised pipes. So this could be the end then, yeah, and it is. But no evidence of a generator in here. No evidence of any generator. But this is where your life would be decided upon, whether you're considered worthy to be given food and kept alive or whether you should be executed decisions like those would be made from within this room and no i'm not kidding because these people that worked in these control bunkers were given the task of going out and finding healthy people who were not sick and the ones that were sick would be just shot that's it you know it was about survival of the fittest and if society was going to carry on People who were ill would be killed, and people who were healthy were worth wasting food on. This is the this is the kind of the rules that were drawn up by the war planners on how to look after the country after a nuclear war. And it would be people stuck in places like this that would be coming out after a while and seeing who's still alive, who's dead who's healthy, who's sick. Healthy ones may be given some medicine, help, helped to carry on. Those who weren't very healthy, bang. So that's the walkway back up there. So I think we've done it, but uh, yeah. It's an interesting place, isn't it? Underneath a fort, an old fort. Fort Fairham. Pipes, pipes are being cut, but yeah, sealed doors look rubber seals on these doors. I'll push it closed so that whoever comes in next can have the fun of opening it themselves. Wow, still works, not seized, amazing. Yes, they've got electric cables. Ah, plinths. Plinths, this was the generator room. And these are the, the big old cables that would have gone into the generators, look. See, go up into there and then go into the rest of the bunker. So this is where the generators would have sat. And possibly, uh, possibly there would have been fuel here stored yeah so this is it folks this is the bunker Fairham Fairham Fort and a bit of a sump going on here keep all the rainwater and crap out but it's just here behind this little this little door and that's it Let's go out then to this place. Wow. So there's a lot of fire, uh, but if it goes 
in if it goes in and around it'll come out the big doors will be over here somewhere so let's just go and have a look this be it with all this middle bit here is where the the bunkers would have been kept oh now this goes straight through this is a this is straight through oh but there are some big doors beyond in there there's some big stuff right off the back and there's two vent holes you see up in the top see up in the top focusing failed it says Okay, but up the top there, there are... Two vent holes, so this would be kept, you know. So you can see there's lots of fire things, signs, supplies, things that they may have used, you know, in a, in a post-apocalyptic situation so there we go well I think time to do a bit of drone footage and then we can get on our way god it stinks out here I stepped in shit or something no I haven't stepped in shit but it stinks of shit so let's take a little look up these uh, these stairs we can see we can have a look. There's a good place to fly from up here. Give it a go. And check out what's on top of the, the bunker. There's some uh, fenced off areas on top. Ah, now I can see where these metal posts would have come from. As I'm starting to see, I'm starting to see this sort of this type of stuff with the metal posts inside. So there's the uh, oh look, there's some kids, kids up there on top of a, another fort, having fun. I bet they don't know about this one, which is even more fun. Ah, right, we've got some stuff up here, which is interesting. Some little uh, bunker holes, just a bit higher up. There we go. And even more. So like some some people have been digging in here let's go in and have a look Whoa. some people have been digging to get in here wonder what's down here then if anything mystery oh it's just a little old uh, chimney Chimney hole. Nothing too serious. So coming out of here. Whoa. There we go. 
coming out. I wonder if this fort goes in a big C shape all the way around and gets ends up where those guys are over there on top. I wonder. Hmm. Some sort of post stuck in. More, more uh, small buildings. Dangerous drop, it says over there. Dangerous structures keep out danger. Dangerous structures. So what's this on the back then? Um, swamp, swamp back there. Small swamp. Huh. So you can walk around the walk around the back over here. Yeah, we're still on the back. We've got more, more of those little buildings on the top. I suppose we can just keep walking around. See how far we end up. More ways in. Cut fences. Although we'll be close to the edge and it looks like it's getting built up, so you just use these back these back uh, walkways. It's a lot easier. Save uh, messing around. Somebody dumped a settee, you know it's a concrete block, I thought somebody dumped a settee up here then. Pretty mad. There's another way up. So there's plenty of holes cut in the fences here. Absolutely no shortage of that. Oh, interesting, look. These uh, drops and walks. Interesting. So we're definitely on top of lots more tunnel space. As we uh, navigate, oh, hang on. Shit, I got my uh, roses up. Let's uh, see if we can keep on the top of this fort as we don't want to lose any height really. If we can get around where those kids are, that'd be really cool. down. There's plenty of uh, fences that were up here that have all been taken down by people. 
It's kind of interesting. Yeah, more buildings in there. Oh wow! Bloody walked straight into a thorn. Great. Luckily, didn't draw blood. But the uh, the back of the the fort is here, and this is way down now. That's very deep, and it goes back up on the other side. That looks like that could be a path or a road over there. So it's and down there looks like more more stuff on the back of the bunker. So oh, okay, let's go have a look. We've got a bit of a view through here. So let's get in and check this view out. So we've got one of these uh, little concrete things on the top. And come out here oh yeah it's actually got a viewing platform wow look at this proper view there's those lads over there look. so I don't know we probably could walk around there now so it's off the edge so the fort goes all the way back around there. It's like in a big horseshoe shape. So. All of it's been modernized now, but it's amazing that, that bunker bit's just been forgotten about in the corner. I bet these lads do not know that it's there. What's the odds we'll surprise them today? Wow, look at this. Oh yeah, this looks interesting where they're on top of. There's a there's like a little an archway underneath. steps up and down here <clears throat> so everything so it goes off quite good Let's see what these lads are up to then see if they know anything any anything interesting dangerous structures Yeah, see these uh, these metal things are what we saw inside. So they're rust bits that are rusted out on the uh, on the escarpment. Oh, this looks interesting. All right, mate. How you doing? Yeah, not too bad, man. Oh, don't tell me that's on anti-climb paint. Jesus. What are you up to? Filming uh, for my channel on YouTube. Filming some stuff. Do you know um do you know about the nuclear bunker over the other side? Do you do you want to be on film by the way or not? I can blur you out if you want. Um yeah, do you know about the how many subscribers have you got? Thirty-three thousand. Alright, wait, 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 can I can I write your YouTube name down? Certainly, yeah. Is it recording? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're right, guys. Yeah, there you go. Have well, you got a channel you they're look they're all uh they're a bit a bit shy. <laughs> uh, what's your YouTube? It's called the Secret Vault one word the secret vault no spaces eventually okay cool well, have a good day. yeah and you all the best
just goes through to the other side. So, don't know if it goes in very far, probably not. But uh, you can see these are on the roofs of the the storage underneath. So. I ain't got any stickers on me, I think they're in, oh hang on, I have got one. Where's the yellow stick? Here you go. Oh, cheers. Yeah, we've, all, we've got mobile data, we just subscribed. Well, subscribe. watch out, it's anti climb No worries. It's anti climb paint, is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, not many people know about that nuclear bunker, it's a well kept secret. Oh shit. Yeah. There he goes. All right. Oh, see you. Later. See you guys later. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. It's a little uh, viewing viewing port. Trying to keep everybody uh, in check. So yeah. Pretty mad. Somebody might have been living up here. So this is like a rainwater drain. Oh, chimneys. Chimneys coming out of all the storage areas here. Quite interesting. Yeah, the lads are off over there. So Probably best off walking down the steps to be honest. Takes a long bloody time otherwise. Right, let's go and fly. Let's fly me drone. Right, so we finished filming here, so we're gonna, we're gonna head on out now. So let's go back and then we can come down the stairs into the uh, into the area where all the the buildings are. We can have a look on. Oh, Jesus, I just scratched my head again. This is why I wear a hat. Ouch. That is why I wear a hat. Nice little steps that somebody's made here. <laughs> I wonder whether they just form naturally or. Whoa, slip. Fairham, Borough Council, danger area, keep out. That's why it's more exciting. Danger area, let me in. Surely, this must be a silly thing to tell people. Danger area, it just means excitement, it just means interest. You know, don't be telling people to, to stay out. It's boring. Staying out is boring. Uh, anti climb paint, yeah, look. Unbelievable. Wankers, look. Sugging wankers. Arseholes. Arseholes. Who puts bloody anti climb paint on something like this? 
are idiots. I mean, if somebody slipped, slipped because of that oily anti-climb paint, they bloody sue the bastards. And they say, well, you know, you want to go put in oil on walls, do you? Nice one, guys. Right, so let's see if we can get down here without uh, too much effort. No anti-climb paint stopping us there. Here we are into the uh, into the units. Let's see if these uh, lads have managed to work out where it all is. Oh, I just stepped off the bloody curb. Just banged my back. So they look quite nicely, these, aren't they? shops and offices to rent <sighs> oh can we go around or not probably not oh I hope so oh no there's a bloody wall Oh, hang on. Can we go through here? Let's save time. Does it come out or am I going to get trapped again? Ah. Ah, it looks like it goes out. So what was the point of that? I don't know. So, back round to uh, the bunker in that corner behind the Dartmouth buildings. So, there we are, folks. I think we've kind of seen it all. So, thanks for watching and uh, hope you found it interesting. Seems like a fairly easy place to visit. No doubt that means it'll get locked up in about two days after I put this video out. But for the moment, Nanu Nanu. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it's the one. I don't know. I think it's going to get locked up anyway. Here he is. Vacant Haven. Check him out. Yo yo. Oh. Right. So we got Mister. Super Wetham Smalimu. Shandy Dark Dan Bunker. Yeah. And this is not this is this is just a small bit of it. It's oh, bigger. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh that's one one for the visitors later, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -uh.
good quality rubber, look. That's been there a long time and that's still proper. Yeah, they've they've seen better days. It'd take a lot to get that bloody. You have to penetrate it, penetrate it. Oil. So, do you want to? Oh, I thought there was somebody down there, and it's like light, but it's, it's just reflection of my, of my oh, white. Me, then. Yeah, yeah. So what's up there? Then? Well, you go first because I've already done it. Um, do you need light? I do need light. Here we go. Just use my. Use this bad boy. Nice. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, each one of these is the rooms on the other side, and this is to get the air out. So they blow the air in one side, and it comes out here. So it's like a, fil a circulation yeah. system, then. Yeah. So we just You'll see them in a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not a lot, really. You know. Yeah. And much like that uh, stuff that we did, that mansion down, it's those those things yes. again with a handle, yeah? yeah? But these are totally C's. Oh, you can't turn you them. You can't turn them, no. Absolutely solid, yeah. Yeah, you've got, to, you've got to get it to go to lock in first, but so you have to keep pushing and twist, keep turning until you find the hole. Keep going. That's it. And I'll, that it will not go. Everything in here seems very heavily uh, rusted up. That, apart from that stuff, galvanized. It's like zinc, galvanized zinc or tin. Yes, try both of them. <laughs> yeah. So these are light foes, you know, like the ball things mm. in there. Yeah, they're air filters. They are. Oh, is that a filter? Yeah. So you put you put that one, you put that rubber on there, and you put that rubber on there so it's in out, you know. Shake it all down. Yeah, and the clean air would come up here, and that's the little filter thing that rises with the pressure. Oh, actually, it's down pressure. It's saying uh, down. Yep. So it roll in front of it. So you've got to keep the certain amount of pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, cheers. Yeah, that's the trouble in you. I think everything's rotted out. Yeah. Yeah, this should have been it's an amp amplifier. Well, actually, it might be a radio. Hang on. Oh, it is. Oh my God, it's like an old police radio VHF receiver by Pi. Volume, power, needle, you squelch. Yeah, that's an old fashioned radio. So they would have been speaking to different bunkers and sector controllers and cars that were going out to check, you know, what's going on, what the fire situation is out there. Houses on fire and. Sorry. Dusty, it's just dusty in here. Make a Oh, they might be outside now. I don't know. Do you want to go in, go through and have a look? Yeah. I'll see if they're trying to find out where we are.
Yeah.